This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to hit that like button. Okay. So, man's broke, Drake. Drake? Man's broke? Nah. But his restaurant did go under. Okay. Now, they owed a bill of $67,000. Oh, sorry. $67,514.73. They want the cents, too. Okay. Um... The lease has been terminated uh, due to, it was like a pick six uh, sushi bar located downtown Toronto, Canada. Uh, they had back rent, so they haven't paid their rent in a while. So, man's broke? Nah, he probably just was done with the restaurant. And he was probably just an investor. So, it probably was beyond him. Just like when T.I. had a restaurant in Atlanta and it closed down, it was beyond him. Because he had a partner that he invested with you know anyways let's get to dame dash dame dash said he thought it was cool it looked fly he said i think it looked cool as hell to be in handcuffs and walk into court i came at a million dollars later and i was like what and did a rock and roll show later that's gangsta and then uh they said hours after his arrest he did uh, with the cam he said billy pablo the third i had fun like I'm going if I'm going to jail and not going to get out, then that's a problem. Like I wasn't into any other crazy stuff, but it was just a warrant for child support. Now I also got more information on his. I didn't realize that that I don't know what that deposition was for. That he was that he was acting crazy in. I would act like that in that deposition too. Those guys are trying to take a movie that he invested in, used his own props and everything, and they're trying to take the whole movie from him. That's a little wild, and he's doing a deposition because he's in a legal battle with them. So I kind of agree with his old deposition now. Once you get the backstory, you're like, oh, oh okay. I would act a little wild too, um, even though it's not professional. But I understand the uh, anger, you know. Um, so you know, as we know, Amarion's going on tour with Bow Wow instead of B2K next year because of the whole little Fizz thing and J Bug. It's just it's not it's not copacetic, right? So April Jones, just to zing him a little more, she puts up, First, let me say happy born day to one of my favorite human beings on the planet. I'm blessed to have you in my life. There are a few genuine and real people who actually are who they are. You are a straight shooter, and that's what I adore about you. Always sticking to your words and actions. You deserve everything and more in this lifetime. I love you always, no matter what, my G. Thank you. I love you so much. Now time to turn up, old folk style. Little fit, it's little fit. I thought it was Amarion's birthday too, wasn't it? It's little Fizz's birthday. Amarion, birthday. When is that? November twelfth. Okay, so it was a few, well, like a week or two ago. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you right now. But I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys, you know, finish the day out strong, putting one foot in front of the other, not giving up. Uh, I hope you guys are staying motivated out there and trying to look past your problems and focus on the good in life and not the bad. I have to do that myself sometimes. So I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Then it's Thanksgiving. Then we're back to the grind. And be, try to do your online shopping or your shopping period online instead of going out on Black Friday and getting some sales that probably aren't really that great. They're just trying to get the foot traffic in there. And you could end up getting hurt. So be careful, okay? I appreciate you guys. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. And I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.